Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We're gonna build uh, some more ships today. Let's see, what's the next new hull on the list? So that was Italian Advanced Fast Cruiser that we made at the end of the last video. Next up is Italian Large Fast Cruiser. Producing cruisers very similar to the larger ships of the Condottieri class. It can be found in the light cruiser hulls from 1939 and has a displacement between 10,350 and 12,900 tons. So yeah, you can make quite a big light cruiser. Let's see, that was a uh, large, large fast cruiser, large fast cruiser. It looks pretty much the same. I mean, if it's uh, if it's got large in the name, let's actually make it large. Max out the displacement. Let uh, crew training to fifty, just as a benchmark. Towers. Minimal tower. Four thousand three hundred tower spotting. And we got this with 100 meters less. 16 base accuracy, 25 long range accuracy. Twelve and twenty-three. Thirty-four night vision, forty night vision. We're gonna go with this. Or just go all out with the uh, with the best one, so to speak. Uh, I think we are. I think for this one, we're just gonna go for the best. What's the difference between these? Thirty-nine tower spotting, forty uh, torpedo spotting. I mean, forty torpedo spotting. Five long range, six long range. It's not much of a difference. The Ox Tower with Barbette. Or without the Barbette. Or I can do this, which has the, uh, the space for a funnel. I think we're gonna go with that one. Because I kind of like the look of that Barbette. As for funnels, 74, 68, it's another uh, kind of big funnel, ultra funnel complex. This one takes up a lot less space. Let's see, can I make them just kind of sit? next to one another. That one does. Maybe we're gonna go for a different secondary tower on this after all. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe this will actually have the room for torpedoes. Let's see, main guns. We went with six-inch guns for the uh, the previous class. Let's now go one step further with seven-inch guns. Uh, we're gonna go A, B, X, Y. Does that turret look silly on the barbette? A little bit, maybe. Maybe just a little bit. 
There we go. And we can now mount some uh, torpedoes between here. You know, they do fit. Do they fit if I make them 22 inch? Some parts are badly placed. There we go. Any barbette I can mount this on? Do these actually fit? There. Maybe a little bit further in. If it's possible. Not really. They have to be like right at the edge. Overhanging by just a tad. Now we're going to keep them on the center line. And just mount some secondaries here or something. Right, let's build the rest of the ship. It's 1939, so I think oil 3 is quite safe. Let's see. Is diesel 2 viable? 7,734. With geared turbines 2, 7,900. Forty four horsepower, forty eight horsepower. One point six, uh, almost one point seven million. Okay, yeah, no, we're going gear turbines. Diesels are stupid expensive. Uh, not a big dif weight difference between gear turbines and turbo electric. Might actually go turbo electric. Turn down the range. With gear turbines too. That's um, that much range. And yeah. Still get more range. And a bunch of other uh, bonuses so uh, turbo electric I think in um, dreadnought improvement project I think turbo electric might be my next go-to engine because diesel has kind of been my thing Also, in uh, Dreadnought Improvement Project, the, the armor types get obsolete uh, sooner. So that the AI won't build ships with just outdated armor uh, types so often. Plus 180 with Modern 2. I'm going to stick to Modern 1. Uh, yep, that is good. Standard, standard. Capitalistic, capitalistic. Let's see, what's the... Uh, that's right, chance. I can just go TNT4. Minus 7 gun range. Minus 4. Ah! You changed it! I didn't see that before. So in the base game in vanilla, uh, two powder two and three is safer than two powder one. But as you advance up to two powder two and three, you lose even more gun range versus two powder one, which does give you a, a minus something gun range and minus even more with two powder two minus even more with two powder three. So here, you do you actually gain range when you research and use tube powder uh, 3. 
So 18 kilometer, 2 powder 1, 2 powder 3, even giving you a plus 1. That's nice. Now I don't have to choose between safety and range. Although you still get more range with Cordite 3. What kind of flash fire chance do I get? 3.4. Plus five shell penetration. Plus five shell missile velocity. Yeah, shell penetration is now just um, tied to muzzle velocity, which is realistic. Two powder also giving you the um, minus five percent gun reload time, though. So. That is nice. We're gonna go to powder. Oxygen torpedoes. Auto 2 reloading. Electrical 2 turrets. Uh, standard ammo is fine. All the rangefinders also uh, weigh the same now. And they also get obsolete sooner, so you don't see like, oh, super advanced AI built battleship, but oh, they went stereoscopic one for some reason. Even though they have much better stuff unlocked. So that's nice. Uh, don't need that because there are no such things as submarines. Let's figure out the armor. What's the maximum you can put on this? 7.5. That's, that's a bit much for a light cruiser. I just feel that's kind of, it's going to be kind of weird. Deck penetration is, even with 7 inch guns, it's really not much. We can go 1.5 on the main deck. 1.4 even. And 0.7 on the fore and aft. Sure. Uh, Citadel armor. I want to go 2 on the first inner belt. Uh, we still have some weight to spare. 4, 2, 1. Turrets, they do need a little bit of armor. That's all they can have. Forty five caliber. I don't have OCD or anything, I just like rounding off the, the caliber length if I can. Okay, we've got a thousand tons to play with. Casemate guns. 3 inch guns. We can have. I think quad 3 inch bofers look just a little bit silly. There we go. That's a pretty big barbette though. It almost deserves something nicer. <clears throat> like a quad four inch. Uh, the four inch turret can actually have some armor. Not much, but it can have some. It's good enough. Thirty caliber. Oh my gosh. Only eleven point six kilometer range. Twenty eight caliber. Why are these so short? Oh now it can't turn. All right. How short do you have to be to uh, 
be able to turn mounted like that. You fit when I placed you. Okay, no barrel length increase worked for you. We're just gonna do a twin four inch. These are 30 caliber. 40 caliber, that's more reasonable. Now oh, these count as main guns. Can they be mounted? No, they cannot be mounted there. But I can put them here. I'm gonna do that. It kinda just gives me a uh, reason to have that open space. I can even put it here. Now, what is the in-universe reason for... Uh, now you can't have armor. Alright. What is the in-universe reason for this cruiser having so many uh, so many guns? I don't know. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. American light cruisers were certainly packing similar numbers. Speaking of which... Why are you unhappy? There's nothing wrong. Why? We're not going to do the Bofors then. 0.4% four weight offset. That's nothing to care about. I guess we can... Um, we can armor up the aft deck. Kind of makes sense seeing as there are torpedoes up there. There we go. Aft deck being the same as the main deck. There's still some weight to spare. I can bump up the range. Can I max it out? Yeah, sure. One million cruiser. Uh, one billion. I mean. Agudat SD. Alright. That's a pretty uh, impressive light cruiser. It's fast. It's got all the range. You can circumnavigate the globe a couple times. Not even the AI should be able to run this thing out of fuel. It's got lots of firepower. It's even got torpedoes. What's not to like? Next up. Italian small modernized dreadnought is a hull which produces modernized battleships similar to the Giulio Cesare battleship. It can be found in the battleship hulls from 1929 and has a displacement between 24,000 and 29,000 tons. 1929. And that was, what did you call it? Small Modernized Dreadnought. Are you sure? Isn't that just a basic basic hull? Isn't it? A small Modernized Dreadnought. 24,000 and 29,000 tons. It's gotta be this. 29,000. Yeah, it, 
this is the thing. All right. Max optimal speed, 24 knots. Let's say 26. That should be doable. B minus two. Just to make it a little bit sleeker. And yeah, it does make it um, less stable. Let's see here. Minus two beam. If I make it uh, make it zero. There are the stats. So base, we have minus 2.5 base accuracy. And some other uh, not so good bonuses. Plus 6.3 operational range. Minus 8.7 engine weight. If we then turn it down to minus two. Minus 16% engine weight. So that's the uh, that's the nice advantage of uh, lowering your beam. It you don't need such a big engine to push the ship through the water, but your base accuracy gets worse. It's minus it was minus two point something now it's minus four point five. That's really not much. That's kind of nothing. But your other accuracy penalties from sea waves and all that stuff also get a little bit worse so but yeah the ship looks nicer which is my main reason I'm kind of simple like that minimal tower enhanced if we go for the not enhanced one we got that secondary tower this secondary tower same as the light cruiser and a simple mast. I think that's the uh, that's the ticket. And we get the same funnels as the light cruiser. Ultra turbine. Turbine funnel complex. If I go with. Enhanced Turbine Funnel. Like so. And one of these, like so. Gives me room for some secondaries here. And just add the mast. Like so. It kind of looks... Uh, looks decent. All right, yeah, we, we have way more engine efficiency than we need. Oh my gosh, yeah. Way more. Way, way, way more. Guns. Oof. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna lose a funnel here. And, um... We're just going to do two of these simple ones, so they take up much less space. And I don't think 14s will be the ticket for main guns. The 11s are Mark IV. I think we're going to go 13. Do they even fit? They look a little bit less ridiculous, but still kind of dumb. I think we might just put a uh, secondary turret here. And I do want to move things further back. Just a little bit. Let's put you there. And then we're gonna go... 13 double. 
like so. So a combination of double and triple. I'm pretty sure that's what some Italian ships were actually using. can sneak one of these with a barbette in here. So far not too impressed with this hull. It seems like it's just a bunch of uh, recycled components. Secondary guns. What can we fit? You have an aft weight offset, that means I can move my main guns further up. Wish I could put a barbette on top of this barbette to just make it taller. We are extending the citadel a, uh, a bit here. No, don't fit, don't fit. Might just put an anti-aircraft gun there. Uh, secondaries here. Let's just go a couple of five inch turrets. Are they the same? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. All right. So a couple of five-inch turrets here. Oh, we got these tiny... That's not even centered on the barbette. That works, though. That works. Okay, let's build the rest of the ship. Uh, just before I forget, make these uh, 1.6s. That's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor we can uh, we can take off because we're gonna add a bunch of weight and components. Uh, crap four. Citadel 4, since it's kind of supposed to be a uh, modernized dreadnought. Standard, standard, capped, capped. Let's see, what kind of uh, flash fire chance do we get? TNT 2 still has the best uh, flash fire explosion uh, negators out of all the uh, bursting charges, though. If I up the barbette, 4.7. Two powder one it is. Semi-auto, electrical two. Coincidence. We can put radar one on this. Now let's play with the armor. We got 13 inch guns. Actually, let's play with the calibers first. Just because. 1349s. 1350. And I want them to be 13.5s. That's a British caliber, but uh, we can uh, we can pretend. Deck penetration that we are looking at. 3.2 inches at 25,000 meters. 4.5 should be more than enough. Five inch guns are 43s. Forty-five 
RB5s. Now I can even give them armor on the barbettes. Not much, but at least some. Hmm. Let's see. I can, uh, can put a little bit more armor on the uh, on the turrets. Now let's take off some armor on the belts, and certainly on the deck, because it's uh, quite insane. A cunning tower don't need more armor than the. Uh, and the turrets. We're gonna keep six on the first inner belt, why not? 1.5 inner deck, 0.5 second inner deck. Let's put five on the turret tops. Since we have the weight to spare, I mean, yeah. There we go. Probably possible to take off even more armor on some of these and go for better anti torp. Plus 50% torpedo belt weight, plus 75%. How heavy do we end up being? 29, 138. Oh, not Citadel. I'm happy with my Citadel. Yeah, that's over a thousand tons. It's only 500 tons though for uh, triple hull bottom. Which might actually be a good idea. It does act also negate torpedo damage a little bit. And it adds to the resistance. So yeah, let's try and find weight enough for the uh, triple bottom. Actually, no, I think it's tough enough. I think this is good enough. Let's save what we have. Just a pity that Barbette there was so uh, tiny and dinky. Next up is Italian Hybrid Destroyer 2. It's basically the largest destroyer that the nation can build. At the size of a small cruiser, it can be found in the destroyer hulls from 1935 and has a displacement between 5,050 and 6,250 tons. That's like almost on par with a modern Arley Burke class. 1935. Hybrid Destroyer 2. Max optimal speed 37 knots. Okay, we can make this boy insanely fast. Uh, it's a huge DD. make it as big as it needs to be. Yeah, we're basically building a light cruiser. Oh, and this, unlike the actual light cruisers, this gets a tower with decent tower spotting. Oh, well, halfway decent. 5,250. I think this is going to be a better light cruiser than some of the light cruisers. Max optimal speed was 30, uh, 37. We can easily make this 39, maybe even faster. 50. Gear turbines 2. And I want to go with 
that. Okay, that's not too bad looking. Not too bad at all. If I place it backwards... What is that thing supposed to be? Oh, it's a rangefinder. Yeah, no. We're not gonna place it backwards. I'm gonna place it this way. The funnels in between. I'll go with two of them. Can you just please just sit right next to the other one? Okay. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Range is not too great though. Uh, 41, 42. And we don't gain that much weight from going diesel. If we go balanced boilers. I think we just need to up the range. So the AI doesn't run them out of uh, fuel. If we go minus three on the beam, it should make the engine lighter. Let's see, what kind of guns do we get? Five inch triples. Are we going to go lots of 5-inch uh, guns? I think we are. I think we are, and we're going to put torpedoes on the back. You can even put it on that built-in barbette. That is excellent. That's a lot of 5-inch guns. And that's 18 5-inch guns. That's a lot of firepower. Let's build the rest of the ship. See uh, how far we get before running out of displacement. Need that much barbette things? Yeah, we're uh, we're about to run out. Yeah, we are. Nope. The bulkheads don't make too much of a difference. We don't save weight by going diesel. Definitely don't save weight by going turbo electric. No, it's gonna be gear turbines too. And I haven't even made my torpedoes bigger yet. Bonk. Yeah, maybe uh maybe we should go double guns instead of triples. Maybe reducing the speed doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, makes about a hundred tons difference. We can make this thing go 40... There's the jump. Like, how fast can you realistically go here? That's unrealistic. Okay. 
I think 41. That's the highest realistic speed for this. And it just doesn't make sense if you uh, not make it go that speed, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, we gotta reduce the uh, reduce the number of guns here. So we're gonna go doubles instead. Thirty-seven tons. Eleven for four inch. What's the difference in actual terms. Eleven point five. Fourteen point three. 5.7 seconds, 7.9 seconds. Let's just add on the um, the range finding things and the uh, the reloading things. Incendiary and AP is fine. Okay, 4 .9, 3.6, 13.6, 11.1, .1. looking at the AP ranges, 7.2 tons, 32 tons, I think we're gonna go 4 inch, uh, if we make them longer and bigger, 4.5. Nineteen, thirty-two. Now they have a longer reload, but they also have a longer range. These are forty, thirty-nine. That's a pretty good reload. 14.4, how long do I have to make them? Um, damage AP, 178. Yeah, the 5-inch guns are still better. They reload faster. than the 4.5s for the same range. But they also weigh a lot more. Penetration, 5,000 meter, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Yep, we're gonna go with the 5 inch doubles. And they're gonna be 40 caliber. Cutting my number of guns by 50%. Now, how to shave off uh, over a thousand tons? We're gonna go drop down to 39 knots. I think we are. We're gonna drop down to quad launchers. Let's save it a little bit. We can drop down to 22 inch torpedoes, saving a bit more weight. They gotta be oxygen torpedoes. Now, as for armor, mm. what's the maximum main belt? 1.3. It's nice to have a little bit of armor on the DD, so it doesn't doesn't just explode. If I drop down the beam, hundred and thirteen percent. 
Oh, no, you don't fit. Because that does um, decrease the engine uh, weight minus 17%. And go auxiliary two. Uh, sixty nine, sixteen. Saves around a uh, hundred tons, but it also makes the DD just a whole lot more fragile. Reinforced bulkheads one. It shaves off some weight. Auto one. Five point two seconds. You gain so much rate of fire, and you don't really gain that much weight. That's not what I want to replace. Quarters. You can drop that down. A DD is either dead or alive. You don't typically see them surrendering. Hmm. <laughs> Four hundred tons. Destroyer Advanced Tower. I can save 50 tons, but I lose around 200 meters of uh, tower spotting. Which is again one of the things that this cruiser does uh, actually well. Drop down to many bulkheads. I know I talked about the uh, the survivability of this DD, but I need to find some weight. And it's such a big ship too. Uh, I hate doing this. How slow does it have to be to uh, to make it? Thirty five knots. But like the issue is that It's just gonna get it killed. Drop it back up to 39. I have an idea that might just work. It's a little bit silly and it only works because the game works in the way that it does. Sometimes when you increase your uh, funnel capacity, you end up decreasing your engine weight. Now we're at 6463. Now that did increase the weight. How heavy are, they, are these funnels? 295. Enhanced turbine funnel, too. Fifty-eight, fifty-six. These are almost half the weight. Sixty-one, ninety-three. Put this one in the front. Oh, 
yes, I know the ship is overweight. And we have a four weight offset. What if I go back with this barbet here? And have these in the back. And yes, I know it does have a citadel here, but it shouldn't really matter because it doesn't actually have a citadel. And it has the same armor thickness on the entire belt and the entire deck. Now, we are overweight by only 10 tons. There we are, no longer overweight. That took a while, getting it sorted out. But that's how it goes with Didi sometimes. You, you just start doing one thing and you have to shave off and shave off and shave off until you're left with something that sort of works and is not over the displacement limit. So we started out at 18. 5 inch guns, now we're back to 10, 4 point, uh, no, still 5 inch guns, All right. Not quite the same survivability. Can I, no, no, stop, stop messing with it. We're saving the design, we're done. What's next? Spanish Advanced Compact Cruiser. Producing cost-effective cruisers, it can be found in the light cruiser hulls from 1925 and has a displacement between 5,900 and 8,200 tons. Spain, 1925. Spain. I don't think I'm going to build all the new Spanish and um, Chinese hulls. Some of them are also shared. So it says uh, Spanish and Chinese advanced small battleships, Spanish and Chinese large cruiser one, so forth. But I will build the Chinese large torpedo warship. I'm just curious to see what what can be built on that thing but now we're building spanish advanced compact cruiser advanced compact cruiser oh it said cost effective so we're gonna make something cost effective max optimal speed 3.5 knots that's not that fast can we go 32? I think so. Let's make this cost effective. By not picking the best of anything. I still want to pick auxiliary 2 though. It's because anything else is kind of a nerf. I'm gonna go balanced. We're gonna go hydraulic. Main tower. That's a good tower. 7,300. And they get it in 1925. I was building a 1939 Italian light cruiser and it didn't get anything half this good. 9.5 million. 7.7. .7. Six point eight. All of these have really good tower spotting. Seven point seven. Uh, six point nine. It doesn't fit. Fine, fine. I'm gonna go with this one then. Six million. It's uh, it's cost effective.
Less than one million. Great. It's fun sometimes building ships where you just look at numbers you typically don't care about. Like the cost of the funnels and the towers. Hundred and thirty five thousand. It's pretty cheap. That's a huge barbet. It's also expensive. Now what kind of guns can we um can we mount on this boat? I wanna have torpedoes back here. Main guns. Mark four. Oh, these are long. These are long boys. Nine hundred and fifty nine. Uh yeah, we're gonna go with the seven inch guns simply because these um They didn't look sufficiently like main guns for my tastes. The 16 inch guns. Uh, basic layout. Looks very basic. Let's see. I, c I don't have much to compare this to in terms of cost, if it's cheap or not. Let's see. Plus 210 armor cost. Plus 140. 100%. 130%. We're gonna go crop 2. It's uh, not that much worse than um, crop 3. But it's quite a bit cheaper. I wonder if I can keep this below 200 million. Probably not. I'm gonna go Citadel 3. Because cheap. It said cost effective. I wanna be cost effective. Shell cost 200%. 250. 350. I'm gonna go 2 powder 1. Let's see. Plus 10% cost. Plus 20. Plus 35. Minus 20% gun reload. Minus 15. Minus 10. We're gonna go semi auto. Range finders. Uh, that's a lot of modifiers. Coincidence 4, 175. Coincidence... F it's not a big difference between 4 and 5. And 3 is not available. 186 for Sonar 2. 185. Uh, it's not a big uh, cost difference. 192. Okay. We're staying below 200 million. Which is decent. No torpedoes yet, though. Said I wanted torpedoes. I want some torpedoes. Place them in such a way that they fit, please. It'll be like that, right? Triple launchers. I think I can uh, mount some uh, some secondaries, like between here. Let's see. Oh, I don't don't have the uh, the Yamato secondary uh, barbette thing. But 
I have these. They are also tall. Oh, I don't want to move both of you. Stop that. Now you don't move both of them. What? Can you just make up your mind? There we go. Secondary guns. You get three inch guns. Which don't fit. Dang it. Dang it. That looks silly. Fine, we're moving the uh, the main gun turrets out a tiny bit more. A turret still works. Secondary guns, three inch. Can I mount them somewhere? else along here? No? A couple of one, uh, two inch guns then. Along the side. Still not 200 million, but we have not yet played with the armor. So that's about to change. Also, we have not yet played the torpedoes. Standard propulsion, that is fine. 12.5 kilometer range, not bad. Armor. I feel like the cost effective part of this uh, cruiser design is that it kind of can fill the role of a um, heavy cruiser with the 7 inch guns. So armor is um, part of its thing. Overweight. Mm, deck penetration 0.5. That's not much. Reduce the uh, the four and a half belts. Some superstructure. The turrets need armor because they are the turrets. They are now overweight. The conning tower needs armor because it is the conning tower. It wouldn't be one if it didn't have armor. So not super armored, but. Pretty well protected. Blanca. So a little bit more than 200 million. Uh, but if we don't factor in the crew training, it's actually only 165 million. So that's what the AI would pay for it. Uh, because the crew training comes from a different budget. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We can go down on the barbette protection. Uh, a little bit. Flash fire tunnels is still pretty good. We can reduce the torpedo armament. And there we go. That is a fairly cost effective light cruiser. I wish the quarters was more of a sliding bar instead of just three options. You have cramped, standard, and spacious. I just like keeping it at standard. Yeah, good to go. That is the first of the Spanish uh, cruisers. They had some other ones too. And yes, I know I could save even more weight by compacting the Citadel. But that's a double-edged sword because that makes the um, the fore and aft belts longer and the fore and aft belts are thinner and there's no citadel armor 
behind them. So you end up taking more flooding damage. Uh, I think this kind of works as a uh, light cruiser that can play the role of a inexpensive uh, treaty heavy cruiser. Yeah, it's not too bad. And now then, I've been building ships for over an hour, and I think that's the end of this video. That was the Spanish Advanced Compact Cruiser at the end here. Next up is the Advanced Small Cruiser. And we're just going to take a sneak peek at it. It's also from 1925. Advanced Small Cruiser. There we go. It's basically the same hull, but smaller. And you still get great tower spotting out of these. Like the best one has 7,000. Uh, the best one doesn't fit again. None of these fit. That one fits. That's huge. These are um, like huge towers. Yeah, they're the same towers from the uh, the previous cruiser, uh, but this time on a smaller hull. It's gonna be fun to build on. What's your uh, maximum optimal speed? Thirty point five. That's kind of slow. It's even sl yeah, that's the same speed as the other one. So I don't know what to build on this. We're gonna find out next time. Goodbye and take care.